Hello, welcome to the video edition of OneFilipinoDish.com. I'm your host, Pawix. Today we're going to have a little experiment here. Um, I've never had this dish before, but this is something that the girl likes and she's had it before. Um, so we're going to make it. It's called Dinuldog. I think this is a Visayan kind of dish. Um, I've never really seen it anywhere else. But basically it's um, some squash, uh, which I think this is pretty available squash at your local grocery store, um, some ginger, some chicken broth, and some coconut milk, and the bacalao. Um, one interesting about, thing about bacalao, which is salted cod, if you don't know what it is, it's, it's I think, a Spanish or Portuguese origin, but from, from there, uh, it's, it's, I guess, considered poor people food, um, but being that it, you know from the Philippines when it was brought in by the Spanish it had this you know, novelty to it because it was brought by this you know the Spanish and so it's imported and something that you know is used in you know uh, party dishes so I don't know if the dog is really a, span uh, a party dish but um, maybe for you uh, guys out there who know let me know um, so we're gonna slice this up and we're getting ready to cook. Okay, so now we've had our, we diced our squash. Um, we also diced the bacalao, which is, we had one the one whole squash and about a quarter pound of bacalao and pounded the ginger, which is about this much, just eyeball it. And we have about three cups of uh, chicken broth in here now, and so we're gonna Put in our squash in there, in with the ginger, and do we put in the coconut yes. milk as well? Great. And it's about a one cup of coconut milk. So, I can get my stirrer. Stir this in and let it simmer. Bring, bring to a boil and let it simmer until um, the squash gets nice and soft. And we'll add in the bacala at that point. So we've been simmering this on low heat now for about 20 minutes, and it's the the squash is definitely starting to get a little soft and. Um, you can definitely smell it. it. Smells really good. You can smell the, the squash, the, the coconut milk, and, and the ginger. Um, and it's now time to add the bacalao. And we'll simmer this through, you know, until it gets incorporated. And when the uh, bacalao is, you know, right in there. Soft. Yeah, it gets soft. So now um, the bacalao is already in there. It's actually, you know, tasted it a little bit, and um, it's gotten the, the, the saltiness of the bacalao just got incorporated really quickly. Um, you don't need to, you know, put too much seasoning on this at all. Um, and what we're doing now is to squeeze out the, um, squeeze out the, the squash to the sides. Get it all in there, and the girl just uh, um, corrected me earlier um, when when I was asking if this this is something that's you know done for a party or not. You know, she mentioned that this is something really that's for you know home cooking, something you you eat when it's a rainy day, and you know you can certainly see that right now. It's getting it's pretty creamy, it's pretty good soupy type thing. Where it's just good to just sit down and you know eat this and a little hearty meal. And put this over rice and uh, you're good to go. I think we're gonna keep on doing this until we've got most of the squash squashed. <laughs> 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 All right, now you can see that. It's really getting thick after we've we've squashed the squash in there. 
and you know let it simmer for just a little bit. Um, let's put this in the bowl. Well, let's give it a try. So how does it taste, pal? Well, let's give it a try. It's really the uh, first time I've ever had bakala or um, the old dog before. Um, let's put this over rice. This looks really good. It smells really, really good. Oh yeah, that's excellent. Really, really good. Mm. Yep. Well, if you ever had it before, let me know if there's any different ways that you guys actually do it. Um, if you've never had it, it's very simple, very easy to do. Could be a nice weeknight thing, you know, just a little rice and then the dinner dog, and you're good to go. Um, so, one thing to do this week: eat Filipino food.